Hello, welcome to episode okay, so two. Here's our blanket. And Excellent. Asymmetrical turn. Dropping and sinking up. I just had to so just notice. Joining us for the second episode next week. So. Namaste. Hi, welcome to Namaste Yoga. This is episode 32. Um, Melissa is away this week in Vermont and has asked me again to teach the class. So I am honored and grateful to be here with my friends Elizabeth and Hugh. So thank you for being here. So let's begin our practice. We're going to start um, this practice sitting down comfortably. So I invite you to maybe sit on a cushion and allow yourself to root down into the ground and just allow your hands to rest upon your lap maybe palms facing up to be open and receptive and then you can either close your eyes here or just finding a soft gaze towards the ground and just bringing awareness to the back of the body and imagining your spine is like a flute, a flute spine, and rooting the base of the flute down into the earth and lengthening all the way up through the crown of the head. And just very gently inhale, allow the shoulders to lift, and exhale, rolling back and down and lifting the top of the chest, the sternum, lifting the heart, opening the heart. And then beginning the ocean breath. So this breathing technique, Ujjayi Pranayam. It's where you softly um, start to filter the breath through the muscle in the throat. It sounds like fogging a mirror or your sunglasses. <sighs> but actually doing that with the mouth closed. And then practicing this breathing technique, both with the inhale and with the exhale. And continuing this ocean sounding breath. And noticing the spaces between the breath. And then intentionally accentuating those spaces so a moment of stillness to be with both the experience of the receiving and the filling up at the top of each inhale and as well as the emptying and being with that emptiness at the bottom of every exhale. And so again, awareness at the base of the spine, awareness of the earth, as well as awareness of the top of the head and the sky above. above and below. And as well, bringing awareness to the back of the body and that flute spine and the structure of support and strength. And as well, the front of the body. Front of the body is more soft, 
and flowing with breath and allow this ocean breath to move from your belly to your heart to your collarbone and allow the breath to be relaxed so maybe even softening the breath a little bit quieting the breath slightly The breath almost like you have just fallen asleep. You're in a deep, relaxed state and you've just fallen asleep and the breath becomes very soft and natural, but with that just gentle ocean sound. And then also now bringing awareness to the right side of your body and the left side of your body. And so we're connecting with the opposites. We're connecting with the sun, the moon, the masculine, the feminine. And we're inviting these energies to to dance and come into balance in our practice. So we're going to start to bring some movement into this breathing technique. And so I'm going to invite you on the next inhale, just to inhale a little bit first and then start the movement. And the arms are going to come up to the sky, palms touch lightly and softly, pausing, exhale a little bit and then bring the hands back down to the sides of the body, to the ground. Okay, and I want you to continue this at your own pace. So we'll be doing it at different paces because individually we're connecting to our own breath. So it's, it's also good in a class to keep your eyes closed in this meditation so that you're not concerned with what the teacher is doing or the other students are doing. You're really just connecting with your own breath and enveloping the breath around the movement. So remembering the pauses between those moments to, to be with the asana. Asana means to, to be with, to sit with, to be present. Breath relaxed, body relaxed. So feel the strength in the body that holds you in this seated pose. But we want also the softness. We want to soften into the strength. This way we allow the strength to receive, which then is received by feminine principle. The strength is the masculine letting go softening to be received by the feminine and then this invites wholeness this reconnects us back to our whole whole wholeness and our true nature Good. And after your next inhalation and the pause there, you're going to exhale your hands to your heart. The Hridaya is the heart. And so inviting this mudra, the mudra is a hand seal that is like a cave. So you're touching the tips of the fingers and thumbs and the heels of the palms together, making space space. So even here in our simple seated pose, Sukhasana, we invite the Sukham, which is the expanded space. So this is what we want from our practice, as well as our life, to have the space to let the light come pouring in. And so bringing awareness again to the heart, the Hridaya. This intersection of 
above and below, as well as front and back and right and left. The meeting points comes right to the center, to the Hridaya. And at this center is our own inner light. It's like the jewel inside of the lotus. That is our truth, our light, that connects us to all beings. This is our interconnectedness to all beings and as well as to nature. So I invite you to make an intention for your practice today. I invite you to even just slightly tilt the chin down towards your chest as a way to honor your, your truth. And a possibility um, for an intention could be one of letting go. I lovingly let go of what no longer serves with gratitude and peace in my heart. So we need to clear the space to then let the light pour in. We could also offer an intention of maybe patience and compassion and to be patient and compassion with ourselves in our practice today. And take a deep breath in. And let go with a sigh. <sighs> Okay, wonderful. So just slowly release your hands. Maybe give yourself a moment to stretch out your legs. Give yourself some movement. And we are going to come to standing on our mat today. So I'm going to invite you to continue with this breathing technique through the practice. So let's come to standing. We'll just put our cushions just off to the side. And then coming towards the front of your mat. Okay, excellent. So Elizabeth and Hugh are going to be demoing from different angles so you can just see the um, sequence of this sun salutation. And again, we're going to be using the breath. So let's begin each sun salutation by bringing our hands together at the heart in this cave mudra. Again, every time it can be an opportunity to just bow towards your own heart and remember the intention for your practice today. Okay, and beginning this ocean sounding breath, this soft breath. We'll run through the first salutation and not worry so much about the breath, okay? And then we can have an opportunity to try it with this meditation in motion technique of, of yoga. Okay, so uh, let's do our first sun salutation. So we're going to inhale and bring the arms all the way up to the sky, palms touch. We're looking up at the hands. Exhale, and we're going to swan dive and come all the way down to the ground. We lead with the right leg first, so step it way back on the mat. Bring the knee down, and we're looking upwards towards the sky. Then we'll step back into a plank pose. Put the knees on the floor and come into an extended child pose. Good. And then gently come back up to table and sink through to cobra. Belly comes down. Heart lifts looking up. And then exhale. Table, curl the toes and then downward facing dog. The right foot is leading still, so step it through forward into the lunge. Help it get there if you need to. Place the left knee on the floor. Okay, inhale and exhale the left foot forward. Fold the body. Good. And then when you come up, lead with the heart. Wings out to the side up. Look up at the hands. Join gently, softly, and bring the hands back down to the heart. Okay, close your eyes here, bow the chin to chest, and just pause for a moment to feel the effects. And take a deep breath in, and let it go with the sigh. 
Okay, so this would be half a sun salutation. So we're going to do that again on the other side. And this time we're going to lead with the left foot. So this time I'm going to invite you to actually bring the breath into it. So start with your soft ocean breathing technique. And we're going to intentionally make the pauses between the breath. Okay, after you begin the next inhale, let the hands come up, touch, pause, exhale, lead with the heart as you swan dive down. Left foot, this time lead, step it back in a lunge, inhale, lift the heart, knee down. Good, exhale, step to plank, knees down, extended child. Pause, so we're always offering the pauses. Inhale, find your way into Cobra Pose. Good, yeah, and we're all working at our own pace. It's okay if we're off. Exhale into Downward Facing Dog Pose. There's always going to be a pause in each posture, asana. Left foot lead, step it forward in a lunge. Good, help it up if it doesn't get all the way. Inhale here, that would be the inhalation. The exhalation then is stepping the right foot through. Good, and then lead with the heart as you come up, straight back, looks really nice. You see Elizabeth had that wonderful straight back, hands together, look up to the sky, hands then come to heart, close your eyes, bow your head to your own Hridaya, the heart. Good, pause. And see if you can feel your heart beating in your fingertips. See if you can feel the pulse, the rhythm. Good. And again, every time you come back to this cave mudra, remembering your own inner light, your inner truth, allow the light to pour in, the nurturing source, the life force energy and take a deep breath in and let it go with a sigh <sighs> excellent so let's continue now we're going to do the same thing but this time we'll be doing it about three to five breaths in each flow in each posture one to the next okay so starting from here begin your soft sleeping breath very soft ocean breath going at your own pace allowing your breath to guide the flow okay this is your yoga you need to adapt the yoga to you if the breath becomes challenging then that means you're not ready for that particular posture yet and you need to modify it or slow it down or pause okay so let's just start with the arms flowing up and down so remember the technique to pause first inhale that little bit first and so breath envelops the movement, hands touch, look up, exhale, arms come to sides of the body, down. And then the gaze now down is through the heart, navel, root to the earth. And again, inhale, arms up, and exhale, arms down. Let's do a few more on your own. Let the body be relaxed. So we have strength and we also have softness. Good, after your next inhale here, we're gonna start the swan diving, leading with the heart, exhaling into a forward bend. When you come back up, lead with the heart as well. Come up with a straight back, palms touch, pause swan dive down again so again just do a few more on your own going at your own pace engaging bandhas the locks internal locks navel to spine we want to always move from the core to the core and from the core good and after your next exhale we'll move to the next sequence 
which is a low lunge warrior. So let's step the right foot back first. We're gonna grab our cushions, our blankets here for our knee and to put the knee on the floor and you can use a blanket or a cushion. Um, really recommended here in our studio because the floor is quite firm. Okay, and then come lift up into low lunge warrior here. No, um, your body, your upper body comes up, put the knee on the floor and lift your upper body, beautiful. So just be mindful here because we're gonna flow the arms. So this is what you can do actually when you're, um, you don't have the space, we can adapt to the space and the flow can be inhaling the arms forward and up, palms touch, exhale, arms flow down. Okay, if you have space, go to the sides. So again, it, it's not as um, important what it is that you're doing. You're adapting the yoga to you, but that you're moving with breath. You're linking breath and body. You're balancing these opposites, the feminine, the masculine, the sun, the moon, the hatha. Okay, so let's uh, complete one more. Good, on the exhale, come down to the floor, step back into plank pose. Okay, and knees down, extended child. Okay, so just stay in extended child. And we're going to, uh, the next flow is extended child to cobra. Okay, so you need to make sure your hands are in the right alignment for this. You might need to just extend your hands forward on the mat. Inhale, let a little bit first, flow through all the way to cobra, belly down, head lifts, shoulders back. Exhale that little bit first and back to extended child. Okay, great. So just continue that three or four more times on your own. Again, staying with that soft sleeping breath. Excellent. Try and keep your elbows drawn in. Beautiful. Pausing between. So it does require this focused attention to stay present to the breath. Those gaps and pauses of stillness are present moment awareness. Good. If you notice the mind wandering, then you lose the technique. Okay, excellent. Beautiful. Next time you come into the Cobra, we're going to move into back to tabletop pose. So just come to tabletop pose. Elizabeth still has her cushion for her knees, which is wonderful if you want that extra support for your knees. It's always about honoring your body. So from this position now, we're in table. Spread the fingers apart, curl the toes under, inhale first here, the exhale will be downward facing dog. Pausing, inhaling that little bit first and then place the knees back down onto the floor. Pausing, relax the shoulders, exhale downward facing dog. So just continue that at your own pace. Allow your breath to guide the flow. If the breath starts to become difficult, challenged, again, you need to stop and pause. You need to do something different. Beautiful. Good, really nice. Okay, after your next downward facing dog, we're gonna move back into the lunge pose. So we're working with the right side. You're gonna step the right foot forward into low lunge and the cushion would be there for the blanket will be there for the knee, left knee on the floor, okay? You're gonna lift yourself up into that low lunge warrior position. Good. And again, we're gonna invite flowing arms. So 
Um, make sure you're rooting down. If you feel wobbly, widen the stance. Walk your right foot out to the right a little more. Remember your flute spine long. Good, yeah, and then when you're ready with the breath, the technique, invite the breath. Just flowing arms, maybe the palms touch, you don't have to, but just a way to join. Right side is masculine, left is feminine. It's a way to join those energies, just awareness of, as well as the sky above and the earth below. So let go of any need to get anywhere in your practice. Know that you are, you are already there. You are already perfect the way you are in this moment. You are already loved. And we just need to um, remember this, that yoga is the remembering, connecting us to the nurturing source in the life force energy okay after your next inhale then just flow the hands down to the ground on the exhale okay so let's um just come back into that lunge maybe put the cushion um, blanket to the side if you like and we're going to inhale and step the left foot forward through and then inhale, reach back up to the sky, palms touch, and bring the hands back to the heart. So back to that cave mudra, bow down to heart, close your eyes. Maybe deep breath in and side out. Soften the knees, relax the shoulders, letting go. Hmm. And see if you can feel again the heartbeat in the fingertips, the pulse, the rhythm. Just this life force flowing through your body, inviting balance between these opposites, remembering your wholeness, inviting harmony and health and well-being. You may even be able to feel the energy in the palms of the hands. I sometimes feel this glowing sun, some heat there in the hands. Do you guys feel anything? Yeah, we got some sun, sunshine. Okay, excellent. So let's do the other side. So the other side is going to be similar, but this time we're going to do the high warrior. Okay, we're going to come up into the high lunge. All right, so let's start that soft sleeping breath again. Inhaling, arms up. Palms touch, pause, exhale, arms down. So just, just doing again about three times with uh, the flow in each posture. Let it be natural. Let the breath be natural and soft. We never want to force the breath. We want it to flow freely. And we want the movement and postures to facilitate and help the breath, not the other way around. The posture's there for the breath. Okay, on your next exhale, whenever you get there, start the swan diving down and inhaling come back up and really nice modification is to bend the knees a little bit maybe to help keep the spine nice and long draw the navel in remember moving to the core and from the core good very nice okay excellent and on your next exhale come down and you'll step your this time we work with the left side the left foot's going to step back and I'm going to invite you to not go so far and put that back foot on an angle and then bring your upper body up into low lunge warrior pose. 
Okay, excellent. And I think maybe now you guys will have maybe room. <laughs> You'll go slightly in front of you, or you could even step back just a little bit, Elizabeth. And we'll have room for your arms, okay? So inhaling is going to be the arms coming up to the sky palms touch. That's it, lovely. And exhale, and the arms come back down to the side. So just give that a try a few times. Nice. If you're feeling a little unsteady, just walk that right foot out to the right a little bit. Widen the stance. Good. Beautiful. Remember the pauses. So the mind naturally will wander. Monkey mind, 80% of the time, we're not in present. We're past, we're future. We're distracted. Okay, so it's a technique to keep bringing us back to present. Okay, it's only in the present that we can plug back into source energy. And so why would we not want to be there and always be filling up with love and light from the universe okay very nicely done so the next um one if you want to try this is you're going to start to do the dive down so the exhale will be hinging at the hips and coming down so let's be mindful we don't want to collide collide with each other okay excellent and so if that's too much for you you can even alternate just do one with just arms and then maybe every second one you can start the diving down and coming back up using core navel to spine so slightly draw it in and upwards to engage your stomach lock the Udhyanda Bandha okay very nicely done Hugh and Elizabeth so let's just complete one more where you're at you're gonna come back down to the floor to continue the salutation so when your hands come down, step to plank. Excellent. Knees on the floor, extended child. So we're working with this variation today. There's many variations. So you're going to flow from here into cobra. And again, just to show different variations, you could offer the airplane version where you are bringing the nose down the runway. And you want to try and keep the elbows drawn in. So if, um, you know, you're not ready for that, that's okay. Work at the posture. So we're flowing here from Cobra to Extended Child. Remember the pauses between... Okay, after your next cobra, we're going to come to table, inhale, downward dog, exhale. And table, inhale, and continue that downward dog on the exhale. Okay, really nice. Good, pause between... Okay, beautiful. Try and keep the elbows turning inwards. The arms are strong. Nice. And again, if you need to just pause and have a break, just come to child pose for a moment and pause. Okay, after the next downward dog, let's get ready to step the left foot through forward to our high warrior pose. So just put that back right foot on a slight angle. Don't worry about it being, um, you know, this like really deep one because we really want to work in this practice to be more relaxed good so that strength can receive and be received so start the flow of your hands and again a modification you know if you're in a class and and there's not much room you can flow your arms up to the sky and forward and down so you just adapt to your environment um, and again, just bringing that technique. 
So we could even、um, create a meditation walk with this technique, just slowing down each step and inviting ourselves to be present. Let the tongue be soft in the mouth and the jaw relaxed as you breathe that soft, sleeping ocean breath. Okay, if you're ready for the swan diving down, you can go all the way down to the ground and pause and bow to earth and come back up to honor the sky. Adapting the yoga to you. If that's challenging, just go back to just the arms. Okay, relax the body. Okay, after your next next cycle of breath here, just come back down to the ground, and then we will carefully step our left foot forward. Let's just take a nice breath in here, inhaling first, and then exhale, surrender. And then, when you're ready, pause and inhale back to the sky. Palms touch again. The cave mudra, hands to heart. Close your eyes and bow down to your your heart, your hridaya. And in the heart is this little tiny dot speck of. Bright, intense light, which is your truth. It's your inner light that connects you to all things. Remember your intention and being patient and compassionate with yourself. Good and relax, because it's in the relaxing that we really start to let go of those things that that no longer serve. They don't serve you, therefore they don't serve the world. And really, that's what yoga. Helps us to do is to create that sukham, that expanded space, because it is in the emptiness, the space that there's more possibility. We can invite、um, new things into our life, and we can make our dreams come true. And we can choose to be on the path that we're meant to be on. Okay, so let's take a deep breath in here and sigh it out. <sighs> Good sigh. I like the sound of sigh. Okay, so、um, Hugh and Elizabeth, we're now going to do the stork pose. I like the stork. The stork delivers the baby, but we're going to imagine the stork bringing our own creation, our own creation. Okay, so I think Hugh's going to modify and use the wall, and、uh, you're welcome to as well, Elizabeth, if needed. You can even go to the back wall there. So let's just start in the standing equal balance pose. Samas Titi. So feet about hip width apart, inside of the feet parallel. Lift the toes, spread them apart. Good, and lengthen through the spine. Inhale, shoulders up first, and then roll the shoulders back and down. Good, and connect again with these opposites of above and below, of right and left side of the body, and equal, standing equal balance, and as well as front and back. So, just finding that intersection of all of these places and points. Again, that is the the heart, that the center, the truth. And close your eyes and just sway a little bit from side to side here. Hmm. Okay, coming to coming to just center. Soften the knees. Okay, and I want you to choose which leg you want to start on, and and don't even think about it. Just go to the one first instinctually. That's going to be your balance support structure. Okay, and we're going to bend the leg and making this stork-like image. Okay, and for some of you out there, and for some of us here, this might be enough for our balancing pose today. Find a focal point, something to gaze and stare at. Okay, and then if you think you've got this, and there's there is an ease to this and a balance, you're going to bring that technique of that soft ocean breath, 
and inhaling that little bit first and then the stork wings come up and exhale the wings come down okay, and it helps to smile in balancing poses so maybe be a smiling stork here good and so for those of you that can see Hugh I believe Hugh is yes his foot is on the wall so this is a really nice way to modify the pose and and have support and be okay with you know having support in your life and taking support and and flowing with breath so remember the pauses pause between good after your next inhale let's come down out of the pose on the exhale good and plant good and sometimes we need a little shake after that sometimes we hold on too tight so you can just shake off the excess what no longer serves you as needed okay just like ducks in the water whew, flap their wings and they will release that excess energy okay so we're going to do the other side so let's just pause standing equal balance again close your eyes and feel the support of the earth beneath you it's also a great technique in balancing poses to envision roots growing down into the earth. Breathe in and out. Ah, <sighs> Good. So let's relax the strength in our body, okay, which allows the strength to then receive and be received by the feminine. Okay. And so then go to the other side and create your little stork leg posture here. And remember smiling, smiling, turning the corners of the mouth up. Okay, root the tailbone down, extend the crown up, relax the shoulders. We're always lifting the heart to the top of the, the chest, but again, that center of the heart, the hridaya and that little light of truth. It's always lifting to the big sun in the sky, the big light. Okay, and when you're ready, begin that technique. pausing those moments of pause they're like little windows into the hridaya into that cave where the truth resides and the truth really is that that we are beauty we are bliss um, that we are happy we are joyful it is our birthright to feel all of this but we need to like let go of whatever that is that gets in the way of remembering our truth. Okay, storks, the delivery is arriving. So after your next breath, and just plant the foot back down. Good, and release. If you need a little shaking out, feel free. Okay, excellent. So good job. So we're gonna move on to the mats now for a bridge, a bridge sequence. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna have to remove the mic for this. So go ahead and lie down on your backs, please. Okay, excellent. So for the bridge sequence, your feet want to be about hip width apart and just planting the feet down onto the ground. I think I'm going to turn around this way. Okay, arms at your side, palms down. And the inhale is going to be lifting the bridge and the arms come overhead onto the floor, comfortably relaxed. The exhale then is going to be coming um, down, plant the spine back down and hug knees to chest. Okay, so when you're ready, begin the sequence. Okay. 
Okay, I need to put the mic in place here. Okay, good. So, soft sleeping breath. So bridging, breath and movement, bridging mind and body, bridging masculine and feminine, sun and moon. And again, if you need to pause and rest for a moment, um, always allow yourself to have that little break if needed. Remember, it's your yoga. It's not my yoga. It's not Elizabeth's yoga. It's not Hugh's yoga. It's your yoga. Okay, so you listen and honor your own body, your own wisdom. You are your best teacher when you can connect to your inner truth. And then when you're ready, you can join back in again, connecting with the technique of pausing and breathing that little bit first and being patient with yourself because it takes training for the mind to be able to stay with this practice. Oh. Okay, so excellent. Let's just do about one or two more. And then the next time you exhale, just release your feet to the floor. Just keeping your, well, if you need a stretch first, that's fine. But we're going to keep our feet on the floor. We're going to move into um, a twisting sequence now. So let's just see if we have space from our neighbors. And your arms are going to be T position. position okay oh great I think we all have room and space here wonderful okay so lengthen through the spine maybe lift the low back tuck the tailbone plant down and you can also lift the head and lengthen through the neck okay and just maybe the palms facing up to start and we're gonna start the sequence by dropping our head from side to side Inhaling the head to center, the pause will be at the center. And then exhale, drop the head to the other side. Good, the soft sleeping breath now. As you feel your body relax, your neck relaxed, your face relaxed, your jaw relaxed. Inhaling to center, pause. And exhaling your head to each side. And just let the tongue be soft in the mouth. And maybe just gently let the top of the tongue rest on the roof of the mouth. And then we're going to add the arms to this, a little ringing out motion. So continue to move the head with breath, but bringing one of the palms facing down, keeping the other palm facing up. And on each exhalation, rotate the palms. So you start to feel this ringing out motion, movement to Ring out any unwanted, unneeded tension, toxin, tiredness. OK, 
Okay, and then we're going to bring the full twisting into it. So next time your head drops one way, let the legs drop the other way. Good. And I'm just going to get out of the way so Elizabeth can experience this. And it doesn't matter if they come all the way down, just wherever they naturally fall to. And pausing, inhaling to center, still moving from the core. So still moving to the core and from the core. Good. And allowing all the strength in your body, the masculine, to soften, to also invite this quality technique of being able to, in, it's in the letting go, the surrendering that we receive, that we can be fully received and we can receive the nurturing source and the life force. Good. Okay, so just finish off maybe one or two. The side, just see which side feels whole to me, which side feels balanced to me right now. And then we're going to go once complete right into the corpse pose for a short relaxation, a guided relaxation. So I'm just going to bring these cushions for you to put under your knees, okay. which is a, a nice opportunity. Oh, we can actually share. <laughs> there we go. We got one big long one. Excellent. I love it. Okay. And as well, um, you know, if you're chilly, it's really nice to, to put, I'll get it for you, Hugh, not to waste, stay where you are. You can put blankets on to keep your body warm. And so here in the corpse pose, I invite you to allow the whole back of your body, you're welcome, the back of the body is masculine principle, it's strength, it's support, it's the structure to relax it into Mother Earth, the feminine. Again, being enveloped by feminine. I have a cushion too. And then paying attention to both right and left side of your body and make it equal, this equal balance, this mirror image. And just acknowledging again, the right side is masculine, the left is feminine. And as well, bringing awareness to the front of the body and just allowing your breath to be very natural here. Softly, flowing, natural, gentle, peaceful. And the vast open sky above. Imagine being enveloped by both this principle of Mother Earth and Father Sky and being held by Divine. And just letting go of just any need to get anywhere because you are already there right now. You are already whole. You are already loved. You are life. You are that which breathes you. And so I invite you to stay in relaxation for as long as you like. And allow the body to integrate these divine energies, this dance of the sun and the moon. And thank you for joining us today in Namaste Yoga. The light in me sees the light in you. Namaste. So thank you to Elizabeth and Hugh for joining us today and thank you for being here with us today. <laughs>